Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Mary Goret Munyala and I'm the most frugal mom in the 254. I'm always excited to having you back, guys, back to my channel. So, uh, recently I decided to talk about my personal life, which I rarely talk about. But some people got back to me and told me it's good to continue sharing because there are so many people like me who feel like there are things that they're not to, supposed to share and maybe they are uh, having a difficult time getting around things. So when I share, it also helps someone else to realize maybe they are not the only ones who are going through that or maybe the difficulties I'm facing can actually help motivate someone else. So still, I'm still giving a chit chat about my journey of single parenting, being a single mom, the ups and downs. Um, so I'll not waste so much time. Let's just get into the video. So uh, <clears throat> the, another challenge that I face as a single parent is actually loneliness. Loneliness always accompanies an end of a relationship. But I realized that for being a single mom, it's actually heightened by so many other factors, including craving for an adult conversation that being alone with your child or children can actually cause. It's the utmost unavoidable consequence of being um, a single parent. I was reading some uh, papers online and I came across a recent study by a simple parent sorry, by a single parenting support app that reported that 99% of the responses, respondents in a study actually reported to be feeling lonely. From my experience, feeling lonely isn't just a result of being physically alone. Sometimes I feel alone, especially when it comes to making uh, serious decisions. Uh, not just serious decisions. These decisions can actually vary from decisions like which school to take your kid to even as far of the moment decisions like to what activities to allow your kid to engage in, what kind of friends your kid should have. Just some from major decisions to actually minor decisions. Though, however, over the years, I've just learned that just because I don't have a significant other doesn't mean that I don't have people to go to, to talk to, to share with about my parenting journey. I've had terrible, terrible parenting days. I wouldn't even call them bad parenting days. I've had terrible parenting days where I've sat and asked myself, am I even um, doing the right thing? Was I even worthy being a mother or a parent or something like that? I've had those questions run through my mind. But sometimes um, I still sit back and remind myself that it's life. I'm here and I have to face it. I have to be strict. I have to be a difficult parent sometimes. And sometimes someone was telling me that you have to be to give tough love so that when you say it's no, it's supposed to be a no and not any other way around. Uh, sometimes asking, uh, asking when I hit a rock bottom actually becomes difficult because it's like I'm actually admitting that I have actually failed and I need someone to come and rescue the moment. And uh, just note that I can ask anyone in my life some questions. I have people that they think they are close to me, but still I wouldn't go to them for any any advice or any question or anything. So I know who to ask and who not to ask. I have some friends who are very judgmental. You tell them something and they will judge you harshly. Yeah, I know this world, we judge people, people judge us, and it's a judgment thing. But when I'm very sure that I'll tell you and you end up judging me or um, just, you know, making me feel bad about it or something like that, I definitely wouldn't ask you about it. About it. Today is a very beautiful, cool, and it's been drizzling the entire morning here. And um, I'm just loving the weather, though the problem is I'm not sure the clothes will dry, but it's been ra raining, raining for the better part of the morning. And um, it's really 
this way. Sometimes it's a case that makes me happy. I enjoy being here. Sometimes when I'm tempted to regret leaving town and coming to the village, the fact that, that I'll just see the whole place green like this actually makes my life better. Uh, how do I overcome loneliness? I'm actually looking for a group. <laughs> support group <laughs> of single parents because we are moving my son is a preteen right now soon i'll be dealing with issues of an adolescent hey i need help i need support yeah so i'm looking for a support group if you have any idea of a good support group for single parents single moms where people meet share this even if it's just a whatsapp group kindly dm me uh i really need that one right now then, uh, of course, I create content. I play a lot on online on social media. So sometimes when loneliness might want to creep in, I'm all over social media creating content, just playing around. And yeah, and days move. And then where I live, I mingle a lot. When I'm not at work, I mingle a lot with villagers here. So either they'll be visiting me or I'll be visiting them, enjoying a cup of tea together with them. So some of those things that I do that just lift the load off my shoulders. Yeah, then once in a while I join charity events. So that is how I fight with my loneliness. If you have better ways of doing this, I said loneliness that it doesn't just come from physical loneliness, but it also comes from decision making. If you have a way in which you deal with this decision making thing, kindly dm me i'm actually cooking gizeri that those are the photos you've been seeing all of all around since i started this conversation someone was telling uh, me about finding gizeri. support in church and yeah, something like that not I'm that uh, i'm against the church or anything but if you want to be judged well well my friend <laughs> go and pour your frustrations and problems to those people in church <laughs> Where those ones, Apana? <laughs> no way. Though I know um, people get a lot of support from there, but for me, no, 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 no. That one is a no for me. <laughs> yes, that one is a no for me. Going there for support, no. But of course, I read the word of God and I, I encourage myself in the Lord because he promises that us that he's there and he's helping us to make good decisions he tells, he tells us that he has given us the Holy Spirit who is a teacher and uh, who needs to give us directions to help us make good decisions so I also trust him so much I read his word and I'm well rested knowing that I have a superior being in whom I trust and in whom everything is actually possible the word of God says that he can uh, actually guide us into making right decisions. Uh, he can guide us even on how t our fingers can make profit. He tells us that he shall always go ahead of us to lower the mountains and to clear the crooked ways for us. So I believe him so much for that. And I believe that where I am right now, where I have been, it, it's because of his grace that is sufficient every, every new morning i experience his mercies his grace and his faithfulness and i trust in him fully because i believe that there are even places he has made me go through places that i wouldn't go through on my own might or yeah so i just want to remind all single parents out there that being a single parent is twice the tears twice the heartache twice the financial strains but it's also twice the joys twice the hugs and twice everything and you know what you're capable of facing this all along yep go ye and be the best parent your kids would ever ask for thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos feel blessed and have a great week ahead